need to find Marta and have her hatch Tenebrae's core fast. Marta, you're okay! Emil! Does it hurt? I treated myself. I'm okay. It's my fault. I never meant for you to get hurt. It's okay. But what's happening to you? Sheena mentioned it too. You've been in Ratatosk mode for a long time. So you're on their side. Huh? Sheena and Richter are both on my case to return to the normal me. And now you too! No, I didn't say... Why? Why should I? My normal self is a pathetic weakling. A cowardly dog will never amount to anything. Emil! You said you wanted me to protect you, as a knight of Ratatosk. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So what's the problem? Emil, I didn't mean it like that. Maybe I should just disappear. None of you want me around. Okay, too. Yeah, I'm glad both you and Marta are safe, but... But... Tenebrae won't wake up. Tenebrae? So Richter didn't get him after all. What are you talking about? You grabbed the core yourself. Huh? I guess... I did? Look, I've been trying the same thing I always do to hatch Centurions. But Tenebrae won't wake up. Whoa! Wh what was that? Tenebrae? Emile, Lady Marta, my most humble apologies for worrying you so. Tenebrae, are you okay? Centurions do not die. They only regress to their core state. Though I would not have been able to awaken had you two not come for me. Tenebrae, you sacrificed yourself for me. I'm sorry. Please, think nothing of it. Thank goodness. I can't stand saying goodbye to friends. Tenebrae! Alright, should we start heading back to Meltokyo? Regal must be worried by now. Right! Oh, uh, wait. Um, what about Richter? Any idea what happened to him? I was caught up in the cave-in, so I can't say exactly for sure. But it looked like that Centurion Aqua rescued him before he was crushed. Then he's still alive. Uh, y yeah Probably. Good. The Ratatos mode you and the normal you are like night and day. What is it, you two? Tenebrae, welcome back. We really missed you. Oh, my. Well, I am sorry for causing concern. Is that all you gotta say? Show some emotion. Is old age making us a little wumpy? How rude. I would ask that you not treat me like an elderly dimwit. Look, he's getting angry. It's really him. Yep, I wouldn't have him any other way. Well, what happened while I was gone? did I pick up Tenebrae's core? Is something wrong, Emil? Well, yeah. My memory is... Your memory? No, it's okay. It's nothing. My memory of when I arrived at the Temple of Darkness is really hazy. Why? Hey, Mom, do you... Huh? I'm sorry. It just sort of came out. I guess it's because you seem sort of mom-like. You think I'm motherly? Are you implying that I'm old? No, not like that. 
I mean, you were really kind and grown up and stuff, and I don't know, kind of like the middle-aged women who lived in my neighborhood. What? Yeah. Hey, Penabry, help me out here. You see, on some level, Emil feels a sort of attachment toward you as a mother. And as we know, a powerful symbol of motherhood is the breast. The young man is simply expressing his appreciation for your ample bosom. Huh? Is that how you've been looking at me? You, you, you creep! You jerk! You perv! How could you? I hate you! <laughs> I guess reawakening didn't change you, Tenebrae. You're all right. What about Tenebrae? As you can see, I am quite well. Terribly sorry to have worried you. So, Regal, did you talk to His Majesty about Glaucius's core? Actually, there's been a bit of progress on that front, which is why I came to find you. Progress? You mean, you know who has the core? That's correct. It's one of Maltokyo's nobles, just as we suspected. So who? Hopefully someone who will fork it over without too much trouble. I don't believe it should pose much of a problem. The buyer was one Celis Wilder. Celis? You mean that idiot Chosen Sister? The Chosen Zelos' sister? Indeed. We should head to Zelos' mansion. Does that sound good to you two? Of course. I'm not exactly enthusiastic, but it's not like we have a choice. I'm not too eager myself, but let's go. How was the Temple of Darkness? It was really dark. It is, after all, the resting place of my altar. One should expect some darkness. That's right, you're a dark elemental. Darkness is quite pleasant. It wraps the world in a warm black blanket. It would seem, though, that my altar was converted into a temple of some sort during my sleep. I think it was Crucius that built the temples. Crucius is that institution in the heavens where Goddess Martell lives, right? Yes. I suppose that describes it well enough. So the Church of Martell's followers turned the Centurion's altars into temples. Indeed. It's rather rude to remodel someone's home without asking permission. They've ruined the bleakness of my magnificent lair. What's the big deal? Still plenty dark. The quality of the darkness is as different as night and day. Can you truly not appreciate that fact? I guess some differences are too subtle for we humans to perceive. Um, so, who is Celis? Celis is the half-sister of Zelos, the Chosen. She has a frail constitution. Without the aid of an X-Sphere, even everyday activities are difficult for her. X-Spheres? Those stones with mysterious powers, right? And they were made by the Desiants. Yes. They allow people to amp their abilities to their full potential. Both of us have one. The King has issued an order demanding the surrender of all X-Spheres. So we'll have to return these as well someday. At any rate, Zelos didn't waste any time in giving her X-Sphere back. And that's why Zelos has been so worried about her. When Zelos is involved, 
The Chosen has a tendency to lose his composure. Anyone so much as touches a hair on her head and he'd hunt them down to the gates of hell itself. Wow, that's so dashing. I wish I had an older brother like that. Welcome back. Ah, and Miss Sheena, you grace us with your presence. It's been a while, Sebastian. And you would be Sir Emile, Miss Martha, and Sir Tenebrae, correct? Duke Bryant was good enough to send word ahead of your visit. Thank you. We've come about the Glacius' corps. Yes. Well, one of our servants, a man named Tokunaga, informed us that he had come into possession of an unusual jewel. Isn't that the butler we saw coming out of the item shop? The same. It seems that he had just purchased the core when we saw him. Could you please call Mr. Tokunaga for us? Oh, what could that be? It, it, it's Lady Sellers. Lady Sellers has been kidnapped by Sir Lloyd. What? Sir Bud kidnapped Lady Sellers? Sir Bud? Are you talking about Lloyd? We'll explain later. Which way did he go? Out the second floor window. We have to go after it. Where is he? Tenebrae, can you sense Glockius around here? I do sense a presence getting further from here. However, energy from another Centurion's core is causing some interference. Another core? Like Lumens. Lloyd has that. No. This would be... Solom's core, I believe. Why would Solom's core be here? We can wonder about that later. Let's split up and start searching. Oh, excuse you. It's you. Phyllis Wilder. Huh. Never expected to see you in my neck of the woods. We don't have time for that. Lloyd kidnapped your sister. What are you talking about? It's true. Lloyd. Lloyd Irving. I... I've been waiting for you. Here! Damn it! I lost him. You're saying that was Lloyd? Of course. Are you blind? Don't make me laugh. That's not Lloyd. You idiot! Your sister's been kidnapped! Hmm. Don't get your britches in a bunch, kid. Lloyd wouldn't do something like that to sell us. That was not Lloyd. Where are you going? I'm going home. If someone's gone to all the trouble of kidnapping Celis, I'm sure they left me some sort of message. You come too. You want to see Lloyd, right?
Master Zelos! Lady Zelos has been... The kid already filled me in. Duke Bryant and Miss Sheena are currently out looking for Lady Zelos. Regal and Sheena? It looks like Lloyd's already skipped town. Oh. Marta. Emil. Sebastian, tell me exactly what happened. I was the one who witnessed it, Master Zelos. I had presented Lady Celis with an exceptional gem called the Glockius. I had just begun explaining its origins when it happened. Sir Lloyd suddenly came in through the window. He grabbed Lady Celis along with the gem and escaped. You mean Lloyd has Glockius' core? I'm sorry, Marta. If only I caught him. And there's been no word from Lloyd? We have yet to hear anything. That's weird. What's so weird about it? Lloyd's after all of the cores. Then why go to the trouble of kidnapping Celis? I'm telling you, that's not Lloyd. You're wrong. It was Lloyd. I saw him with my own eyes. What would you know about Lloyd anyway? You really think he smells like that? Smell? Yep. When he ran by me, there was this horrible stench. I thought I was going to pass out. Lloyd's never been the sort to wear cologne. And even if he was, he'd never put on something that putrid. Now that you mention it, it did smell a bit familiar. Was it owed a seduction? That's it! Wait, that would mean Dex was disguised as Lloyd? Hey, you guys want to enlighten the rest of us as to what you're talking about? Um, well, you see... Hmm, Ratatosk, huh? I gotta say, that's quite the tale. So anyway, there's a good chance the Lloyd we saw was actually this vanguard guy Dex in disguise. Judging from the smell, I think so. All right, come with me for an audience with His Majesty. Let Regal and Sheena know when they come back. Understood. An audience? The House of Wilder is second in status only to the royal family. We have to report this immediately. Let's go. Zelos, chosen one. I'm told that Bud has kidnapped Celis. To be more accurate, Your Majesty, she was taken by an imposter of his. We believe the Vanguard may be involved. Excuse me, why do you call him Bud? Because he's my Bud. You say those barbarians who call themselves the Silveranti Liberation Front committed this crime? How awful! Hmm. Your Majesty! Duke Bryant and Sheena Fujibayashi of Mizuho have arrived. I would speak with them. It seems matters have become quite grave. Your Majesty, we come bearing new information about the current situation. Scouts from my village reported seeing a rayard overhead flying east. East of here? That could be the Cape Fortress. Marta? The Vanguard has a base in the Cape Fortress. So, Marta dear, how do you know something like that? M well... Former Vanguard, huh? A member of the Vanguard? Stop, please! Marta has nothing to do with the Vanguard anymore. And right now, my sister's life is more important. Put away your weapons! So far, the Vanguard hasn't made any attempt to contact me regarding my sister's kidnapping. Which is why I suspect they've abducted Celis in order to get to Lloyd, rather than me. Why would they do that? Emil, the Vanguard's after the cores too, correct? That would include whatever cores Lloyd has. I see. They took Celis so they could make a trade with Lloyd. Well, it could just be coincidence. Celis came in possession of the core. They set out to steal it, and ended up grabbing her when they realized she'd be useful as well. Dex. How could he? We'll need to infiltrate the Vanguard's base. Your Majesty, in case our plan should fail, I would request the Royal Army be ready to take up the search for Celis. Of course. I'll have my generals make the necessary preparations immediately. As for Mizuho... I've already asked my people to start a search. Excellent. But Chosen One, shouldn't you consider staying behind in the city? 
If I don't get some thrills in now and then, I'll grow old before my time. Well then, Your Majesty, we will take our leave. Um, I'd like to say something before we go. Is something the matter? I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? It's about Lloyd. I've been thinking. What if all of these terrible things I've been blaming on Lloyd were actually done by his imposter? Neil! I don't know. Maybe this is the only time it's his imposter. Of course, it could turn out that the real Lloyd is responsible for this. But every time I hear one of Lloyd's friends talk about him, it's hard to believe he's the same person who did all of those terrible things. So... I appreciate what you're trying to say, but we have no idea what the truth is. Yes, I know. It's just, I finally realized I can't jump to conclusions when there's so much doubt about what's happened. That's why I wanted to say I'm sorry. Then let's call a truce. When you gave me the evil eye, I pegged you as just some punk. But now that I've gotten to know you, you're a pretty decent kid. Zelos, you don't have to talk like that. It was probably Emil in Ratatosk mode that gave you the evil eye. Indeed. It seems that Emil gets a bit abrasive when he enters this so-called Ratatosk mode. Stop it! Stop talking about the other Emil like that! That Emil is Emil too, and he's doing the best he can! So please, stop talking about him like this! Ah, right. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm afraid I went too far as well. I'm sorry, Emil. No, I'm fine. Well, moving on. I think it's about time we left. Sorry to rush you all, but I'm worried about Celis. Yes, I'm sorry for delaying. Let's get moving. They're the vanguard or what? Anybody who even looks at Celis the wrong way is gonna answer to me. After I string them up by their necks from the summit of Mount Fuji, I'll tie them to a sack of bricks and dump them into Flanor Harbor. Wow, Rico and Sheena weren't kidding. Y yeah. What did they say? They said you cared a lot about your sister. That you'd never forgive anybody who hurt her. Essentially, they said you seem to have a thing for your sister. Regal, Sheena, come here a sec. No, that's not what we meant. Tenebrae! 